Hi, if you're watching this video, you're probably interested in why is it important to get one hour's worth of information onto one page. My name is Jonathan Kemp. I'm a human intelligence entrepreneur and the creator of Smart Wisdom, the scientifically proven next generation note taking and planning technique. I've been helping people manage knowledge and information more effectively for the past 20 years. So why is it so powerful to be able to get one hour's information onto either one piece of paper or one tablet if you're using a digital pen and a digital tablet? And in fact, it's incredibly powerful because by doing that, and I explain all the reasons why, you're able to get more value, same of say from a presentation or an important meeting, you're able to give more value, again in meetings, interviews and coaching sessions. But also, you're, it immediately gives you a competitive edge over people who are listening, people who are taking previous generation uh, notes, or people using laptops. And it's all incredibly simple. So where I came from, and the key actually, is what they call, or what I call, uh, percentage GA. And I'll explain what that crucial percentage means a bit later on. So where I come from is I used to take reams of notes. So typically in a one hour complex meeting where there's a lot of new information, a lot of complexity, a lot of volume, I would probably take, easily take, I don't know, between two to four, maybe five pages, because I'm highly analytical. So I'm looking for all the detail, all the language, all the nuances, and I wanted, I wanted to be able to record that. But I ended up with four or five pieces of paper, <coughs> which I couldn't really go through or really understand until I got out of the meeting, out of the presentation or the interview, whatever it was. And that caused, though I didn't realize it, that caused a lot of problems because I couldn't use the information real time because I was using previous generation note taking. It's a 2000 year old technique developed probably pre-Roman times, hasn't changed in 2000 years. We're taught it all at school and essentially it's a recording technique. You listen to the information now to use a later point. That's sort of okay in education, it's not okay in the workplace. So I then started to make a switch from previous generation note taking to next generation note taking. And the secret with next generation note taking, it's not about recording, it's about real time understanding and being able to use that information and knowledge real time. So it's converting information into knowledge. The difference being knowledge is the understanding, the deep understanding of uh, information. And by doing that, suddenly the amount that I recorded reduced by over 50%. So instead of cap capturing maybe four or five pages, I was getting down to, actually it was even more than that, I was getting down to about one page. And then I suddenly realized something else. To be able, because then I was able to sort of understand what I was capturing, understand it real time, and I was being able to look at it and engage with someone else. Then I realized something else. This is incredibly powerful because I'm at a glance, I'm being able to see the entirety of a one hour meeting or interview, coaching session or presentation, and I know exactly what's happening. And so I'm able to use that knowledge real time and add more value. But also when I go out you know, of that occasion, I know I've covered everything off. And I'm gonna to explain to you how to make this dramatic reduction. And it's really simple. There are, there are four key stages. <clears throat> the first is deep processing and these, this really is the key to making that huge reduction. So here we've got some information we'd like to find one quick way to improve performance and to gain a competitive edge. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that deep uh, filtering and just take out what I think is the key information. So uh, probably find I would keep, one I'd keep, quick way I'd keep, I'd keep improve definitely, I'd keep performance and to gain, I don't need any of that, I'd keep competitive edge competitive edge. The next stage, and already by this you can see I've done a dramatic reduction. The next stage, which is crucial, is the deep processing. And this is what increases my understanding. So I'd go find uh, one quick, a 
away to improve, and I abbreviate here, it just helps with, helps with speed, um, improve performance, performance, and gain a competitive edge. Whoops. Actually, no, I'd probably, I'm just trying to think, proof of force. I'd probably actually put gain, so I would put gain here, uh, gain, and then a competitive. And actually, because I've run out of space here, I just come down underneath like that. And I put a cap over it to signify that this belongs to that. Right. So suddenly by doing that, there's something very, very fundamental happens and that increases my real-time understanding. And this is crucial to being able to use one hour's information on one page effectively. Now it's been tested by cognitive neuroscientists and it increases percentage RTU, which is the real-time understanding. So traditional previous generation notes, complex meeting, real-time understanding, 64% using next generation note taking, it suddenly goes up to 76% after just two weeks. And after a year, it goes up to 84%. So that alone is gonna give you a competitive edge over everyone else. And for those people who are dyslexic, and I'm dyslexic, after one year, it goes up to 87%, which for dyslexics, of course, is transformational. Now, the next key part of the, the secret is dynamic structuring. So creating really clear headings, um, sub subheadings, being able to chunk information off smaller headings, all of that helps with this raising the percentage of the GA. If you remember, I mentioned that before. And GA is really simple, it's glance access, the ability to look down and see all the knowledge in front of you at a glance where you're engaging with someone else. And also what you're able to see, if you get it right, you can see all the major headings, the major subheadings. You can also see really easily where you started chunking information and the subcategories off which you're chunking. Now, the more you're able to do this, again, you reduce all the repetition and that increases your glance access. And then the final secret to next generation note taking is creating a dynamic overview which you actually do by default, but you can increase it by actually developing a template. And I'll show you an example here. This is one that I use, and you can see I've got the concentric circles here, which enables me really quickly to see the major headings and subheadings at a glance, which improves the glance access. So hopefully you've, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video and you've liked it. Please do press like if that's the case. And of course, please feel free to start using some of the next generation note taking techniques. Remember it's deep filtering, deep processing, dynamic structuring and creating a dynamic overview. And if you look like the introduction to Smart Wisdom, please feel free to start using this. And of course, if you want to learn more, um, do come and join me as an information athlete. Also feel free to comment and please, please do share with anyone, anywhere, who's a friend, client, colleague, who you know is passionate about giving best value, getting best value, having a competitive edge or wanting to increase their performance in their studies or their work. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a brilliant rest of the day. Ah, one final thing, cross there or over there or up at the top or down at the bottom, you'll find a link where I've put together a free guide for you on how to manage information more effectively. Thank you.